I live in a no flood zone in Londonderry, Vermont, and there's the West River, and there are my front steps. can barely see those front steps there, of course. I'm sure a very scary and a bit worrying situation ongoing there in Londonbury, Vermont. That's where Vermont resident Dana Zizinski joins me now. Dana, thanks so much for joining us. Wow. Hi. Hi, great to see you. We can see some of the floodwaters behind you. So can you tell us what has the last 24 hours been like for you? Yeah, um, so about six in the morning, the local fire department came and knocked on my door and said, hey, you might want to move your car out of your driveway because your driveway is beginning to flood. And so I brought my car up out of the driveway and the West River has been steadily flooding since wow. then. It did recede a little bit and it does look like it's getting better. I loaded up my dogs and we tried to get up over the mountain, but the road was washed out. I have a three-story house, so if I have to go up higher, I will. Uh, but right now, it looks like it's gonna be survivable and okay, but not gonna lie, this is pretty scary. That has to be scary. You know, you say you moved your car out of the driveway. Was there another better location to move that? I know a lot of people probably thinking, where else do you put a car besides the driveway? And you mentioned also getting over, uh, did you say the mountain? What was that did, like, analyzing that? I live, yeah, so I live in the Green Mountains in between uh, Bromley, Stratton, and Magic Mountains. So I live in a bit of a valley right next to the West River, which apparently has never flooded this badly before. And there is nowhere for me to go but up in one direction right behind my house. So that might be the hike that I'm about to take, depending on how this water keeps rising. It looks like most of my neighbors are safe and have been evacuated, though. That, I, I'm glad to hear your neighbors are safe and we're hoping you stay safe as well. Have you been in contact uh, with any emergency personnel? Have you talked to them about your escape route, you know, if, if need be? I have. Um, my escape route is to go up behind my house and climb the hill, the mountain that's there, to the town hall. Okay, and, and you know, you mentioned you haven't seen necessarily anything like this Ever. I'm not sure how long you've lived in the region, but I take it your home, is it in a no flood zone? <laughs> I was told that it is a no flood zone, which, you know, is not the point right now, but I feel like that's something we'll be talking about in the next few weeks. Sure seems like a flood zone. Uh, most certainly. Uh, so crazy to think about. Is anyone with you as well? I, I know you mentioned your pets. Do you have any family members with you or have your family members been reaching out? I'm sure uh, they could be worried as well. My family is all around the East Coast and they have rain in Boston and in Asheville, North Carolina, and we'll all be fine. Um, I seem to be getting the worst of it, but I'm not worried. Yeah, we have our fingers crossed for you. We're thinking of you. We're, we're wishing you safe, safety, especially within the next 24 hours. And we wish you well. Dana Zizinski, thanks so much for sharing your story, I'm sure, in a very stressful time. We, we really appreciate your story. And I think, it'll well, I think it'll help so many people seeing what's ongoing there in Vermont. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.